right, welcome to our compost facility. Uh, this is located right adjacent to the landfill here in Graniteville. So uh, it's a beautiful Saturday here. Thought we'd show you a little bit about uh, how this thing works. So let me uh, figure out how to flip this camera around and I'll show you. So this is what comes into the landfill on a quite regular basis. Uh, somebody's just cleaning up in their yard evidently. And we take and we stockpile that material. We also got a bunch of logs and trees that come in quite regular. And so then we take it, grind it over there with our roto chopper. And then we mix it with manure and a few other secret ingredients. And we put it in these long windrows. You can see each one of them is labeled. And it goes on and on and on. I think we got about 20 windrows right now. So this is where it'll be inoculated with some, um, some microbes that will then start breaking the material down. And through that process, it creates heat, which we need in order to cook You'll hear me say cook compost, that's just kind of slang for, you know, breaking it down, decomposing it. So it doesn't look like much on the outside, but as you dig in there, man, you can feel, you can feel the warmth. So those little guys are in there doing their thing and breaking this material down. And so we'll end up with a nice blended compost that you can then use as a soil amendment uh, we screen it first uh, too I should add then you can put it in your garden you can put it in your yard what have you uh, to just kind of help out the the soil um, it's all kind of life in your existing soil that you have now but by adding stuff like compost it feeds those microbes that are already there plus introduces all of our microbes which are, uh, you know, they're, they're actually selected and then bred. So they're kind of like a, a special blend of microbes. So you add that to your, to your soil as well, and it helps out tremendously with things like nematodes and uh, just water absorption, nutrient content. And you don't have to add as much man-made fertilizers. So tons and tons of benefits to using compost. So let's head up to the office. Uh, something I want to show you up there that's pretty dang cool. So let's do that. Okay, before we make it back to the office, I'm just gonna dig in this. This has already been screened. So this is piles of compost that's aging right now. So it'll have to sit here and mature, and then we'll send it off for testing uh, before we can sell it. Let me get in the shade a little bit, because this stuff is beautiful and black, but okay, now you can see it, hopefully. A little bit of sand blended in there as well to encourage drainage. Beautiful, beautiful stuff, and it's still just a tad bit warm itself, those microbes now in the last stage of their life cycle breaking this stuff down isn't that pretty you talk about growing some pretty grass or your garden looking awesome you'll add compost you can really tell the difference between a natural fertilizer and uh, you know all the man-made chemicals that people spray in their yard and spray it everywhere so I just want to show you that before we, before we make it all the way back to the office. But that's where we're going now. All right, we are back from the compost yard now and I'm going to show you something really cool that I just uh, started doing just yesterday. Got a really neat microscope that hooks up to the computer. And yes, I, I realize I'm a huge, huge nerd. So you don't have to tell me. Anyway, I find it super interesting. All these little bugs inside the compost is what gives it its heat. So you've got fungi and bacteria and protozoa and all these other really, really cool microscopic organisms 
that are breaking this material down and as they do so generate the heat which we need inside the windrows to kill the pathogens and weed seeds and also to you know just break the material down to a humus uh humus material so let's see if we can check it out here all right here's our cool new microscope that hooks up to the computer and so what we've done we brought a little bit of compost back with us out of the windrow and uh, mix it with some distilled water and then put it on a slide just one milliliter right there on that glass slide and of course got some lights going to it and stuff but let's see what's in there zoom in a little bit on the computer here Hopefully you can see it. I know sometimes those squiggly lines come through when you're trying to film another screen. Let's see what we got here. I see a bunch of stuff kicking around. There's all of our microbes that are in the compost. Now, I'm not going to pretend like I'm a microbiologist and I could make up something right now. And most of you wouldn't know, but I'm not gonna do that because I don't know what we're looking at, to be honest. I would assume that most of these are bacteria, um, but then again, you know, I really don't know. So I'm sure there's a lot of you out there way smarter than me. So feel free to comment below and let us know what we're looking at. Um, maybe protozoa, fungi, not sure, but look at all of them. That's so cool. That's a pretty neat one. And so we, uh, we inoculate all of our compost windrows with, um, microbes that have been selected by a company called Harvest Quest. And at first... When they came to me and said, hey, if you if you add our microbes to your windrows, you can cook your compost a lot, lot faster. And you don't have to flip it as many times because these microbes can live, uh, you know, in kind of low oxygen situations. Whereas before we were having to flip them every couple days. So uh, I said, well, make me a believer. And they did. So they came and uh, inoculated couple of our windrows and we wet them and the water kind of activates the microbes and then they went to work and uh, the temperatures inside the windrows climbed really quickly and um, cooked our compost way faster than what we were doing just we were just doing it natural you know whatever whatever microbes were in the environment or in that material you know we were just kind of using that but anyway very very interesting stuff. Those guys, some super smart fellows. See if I can clear this up a little bit. So now, in, instead of like six months, which it was taking us to cook our compost, it's only taken 45 days. So these are like superheroes of the microbe world or super athletes look at all of them isn't that amazing i find this stuff so interesting even though i don't know what we're looking at it's just amazing to think there's that many in one milliliter of water so you can imagine the gajillions that are in one of those windrows in our compost area there's something cool Clear it up. Simply amazing. So, anyway, there's your science lesson for today, kids. And if you like this type of stuff, let me know down below and I'll try to post more of it. And uh, if you don't, well, then just don't watch this channel. Simple enough, right? All right, cool. Appreciate your time, guys. Hit like and subscribe below if you will. Helps us out tremendously. And we'll see you on the next video. Later.